Hi everyone, it took me a little bit longer to prepare the episodes for this week, but I have good news. This will be the first week in which I will upload two or three episodes, and from now on I am going to try to keep that same rhythm. To make that possible, the only thing I'm asking you to do at the end of this video is to subscribe, like, comment and share it with people who you believe will benefit from this episode as well. That being said, in this episode you will learn why setting positive goals is extremely important and how they can increase the quality of your life tremendously. And at the end I will explain how you can create a positive goal for yourself today. So you can start feeling the difference it makes in your life as well. You know, many people that are on a spiritual path at some point come across the need to end suffering. At first, we believe that suffering is part of life. Then when you mature a little bit more, you understand that the amount of suffering you go through depends on you. It depends on your state of mind. We all have bad experiences. Experiences that make us sad, feel unloved, feel unwelcomed. We lose people we love, we have bad breakups, we deal with health issues, and the list goes on and on. And then, as we enter our 30s or 40s, and we see that most of our childhood dreams are still not more than a dream, we start to settle for less. Our dreams become smaller. Where once we were ambitious and our goals were big and bold, now we just want to get rid of the pain. You can see it on our faces. We smile less. And the sparkle in our eyes is gone. Dreams are fading away. Mediocre is okay, right? Wrong! When you settle with the goal that focuses on getting rid of something negative, like pain or suffering, you automatically set yourself up for a mediocre life. Because the moment you achieve to reduce the suffering and pain to a level that is bearable for you, you fall back into old habits. The truth is, the modern human being is stupid. We, and yes, unfortunately, I still have to include myself as well here, often prefer to stay in our comfort zone, where we tolerate pain and suffering just because it's what we know. We're not really comfortable here, nor are we happy or satisfied. But we are too scared to face the unknown believing that somehow we'll end up even worse than we are now. It's a lie. A lie to keep ourselves tied to old, unproductive and unhealthy habits. We lie to ourselves because we're lazy and scared. Being comfortable in pain for most of us is more appealing than uncomfortable in joy and happiness. That's the cold, hard truth. And when you set something I call a negative goal, it should teach a lot about yourself. People who set negative goals, meaning eliminating something negative from their life, are too scared and too lazy to be successful. You are too scared to be happy. Don't believe it? Let me say it again so it can sink in. You are too scared to be happy. Why? Because happiness, freedom and joy come with responsibility. The responsibility of realizing that you own your happiness and inner peace. And you cannot point your finger at anyone else anymore. You and only you are responsible for your happiness. And that responsibility for most is a load too big to handle. So how can you avoid setting negative goals that hold you back and keep you from fulfilling your dreams? Simple. By creating positive goals. For example, instead of wanting to end physical pain, set a goal for yourself to get in the best shape of your life. Don't focus on losing weight. Focus on gaining strength and stamina. Don't focus on reducing fat and calorie intake. Focus on eating a healthy and balanced diet. Don't try to get rid of suffering. Instead, create daily habits that help you to create and maintain a positive mindset, like meditating, exercising, taking cold baths, and spending time in nature. 
Positive goals encourage you to create positive habits and replace negative thought patterns with positive ones. Thoughts of calm, peace, and tranquility. Habits that inspire and motivate not only yourself, but also the people around you. Because people with positive goals are the ones that can light that fire inside someone else. They can be the people that start a chain of positive goals, habits, and actions in their communities. And once you take the first step, you will see and feel how rewarding it is. You feel great when you've done something difficult, but you know how good it is for yourself and the people around you. And then you do it again and again and again until it becomes a habit. And you know what? Very soon, that sparkle in your eyes will be back. Your smile will be bigger. Your heart will glow with joy. And the positive energy will make you feel younger, stronger, and happier than before. You still go through ups and downs. Because that's life. But suffering is now something you own. I hope this will inspire you to set some positive goals for yourself today. One of my positive goals is to reach 100,000 subscribers within one year and eight months. And it would be amazing if you could help me with that by coming back for more content like this. Like and share it if you think it can be helpful to other people as well. And you can also have a look at my blog for more content, coaching, and my book Dawn is in me. Thank you for watching till the end. See you in the next one. Thank you.